the needles, the single use disposable, it's like a cartridge system, um, and these are thrown away after every tattoo, they never reuse. At the moment, I use Cheyenne needle cartridges. They were the innovators, they're sharp, reliable, um, they're not cheap, but they are the best. Over the years, I've used lots of different inks, but I always come back to Fusion. It's been around for a long time, it stands the test of time, it's safe, it's clean, there's never any reactions to it, it's easy to work with and it's really vibrant, it's good ink. I specialise in Japanese tattoos, that's 90% of what I do. The more I focus on one style, the better you become at it. With the Japanese stuff, it's always fresh, something always new, and it's always a challenge. Before we start a tattoo, we always have to do the design. That's always done at home um, in a spare time. Most people don't realise this. Uh, the drawing takes up a big part, because obviously without the drawing, the tattoo is not going to be 100%. When I got into Japanese tattoo and I was seeing works by Philip Liu, Shige, Jeff Gogwe and some others and that's what got me interested in it. The fact that it's big and it's bold. Japanese sleeves, they, um, they tell a story, your story, could be your, your character's traits, um, struggles you've had, achievements, an image or a message you want to say. So, say somebody wants whatever subject it is, I always look at Japanese art, inspiration from other Japanese tattoo artists. The koi fish usually turns into the dragon koi and then it's rewarded by turning into a dragon. A lot of people have that story tattooed on them. It represents a struggle that they've had in life, what they've overcome. In Japanese tattooing, the backgrounds, they're always elements. Um, I use water a lot, the waves. Um, it ties stuff together nicely. It's got flow, it's got movement and, it's all, and water's also the carrier for life. So it's good to use in a piece. Dragons are a popular, a popular image to use, but there's that many meanings and variations of it. It would take too long to tell you on this. The reason why Japanese tattoos age so well is the black and grey background. It adds dimension, makes it pop, and the colours are always vibrant. Um, we use strong lines. We do it so it fits the body, the muscle structure, uh, it flows well, and it just ages really well. It stood the test of time, there's proof of that. Once a tattoo's done and it's all healed, and, and all the pigments and ink stop settling, it's usually around about six months, that's when you see the true beauty of the Japanese sleeve. The aftercare is important because getting a tattoo, it's an investment, you've got it on your body for the rest of your life, so looking after it is, it's crucial uh, because if you get an infection, it's going to cock everything up and it's going to spoil the artwork. We use in the studio, it's like a, a second skin. The advantage it has over standard cling film. Cling film, it's a breeding ground for bacteria, it gets hot, it's not sterile, it's not breathable. Whereas the film we use now, it's sterile, breathable, waterproof. It's basically a labor skin. It kind of heals from the inside out, it tricks the body into thinking it's already healed. If you don't follow the aftercare, the chances are you're going to pick an infection up because it's a big open wound, it's open to infection then. So it's important that you stick to the aftercare. 